There is one job that is going to be opening in the Namo soon, and that is the mayor's seat. Incumbent John Rattan uh, wants to hang on to it, though. He is running for re-election, but there are at least two other candidates who are tossing their hats into the ring. As CTV Scott Cunningham shows us now, one of them is running on a platform that includes a major new infrastructure project. Arriving at City Hall in his favorite mode of transport, Jim Rutledge makes his intentions clear. He wants to dethrone current mayor John Rattan. Not wasting any time, the local home builder outlines his platform. Rutledge wants to champion more low barrier housing in Nanaimo. Supportive housing is the term I've come to be most comfortable with. Uh, it's about homelessness. It's about getting people a pillow before a pill. Focus for the political newcomer will also land here in the channel between Nanaimo and Newcastle Island. The key element of my campaign is going to revolve around an important addition to this community that I would like to see and that is a bridge to Newcastle Island. The 58 year old has yet to offer any plan to pay for such an undertaking. Um, Mayor John Rattan says he will stick to his guns as he looks for re-election. The one term incumbent continues to push for a fast ferry to Vancouver and a conference center hotel to bolster the city's downtown. I think it's going to benefit Nanaimo in the long run. There is a third in this race, but as of right now, we know very little about Daniel Didio. In his nomination papers, the candidate simply says he is a kelp farmer who hopes to expand his business into a cod hatchery. Fringe candidate or not, our current mayor says he welcomes what competition will bring. I think uh, having other people uh, express their own viewpoints and their own goals and objectives is important. Back at City Hall, Rutledge hits the road, heading out on the campaign trail hoping to shake as many hands as he can and win as many votes. And our Scott Cunningham joins us now live in our Nanaimo newsroom. Scott, uh, three names uh, at least will make up the mayoral ballot in Nanaimo on November 19th. Is there a clear front runner right now? Hudson, in 2008, current mayor John Rattan captured almost 50% of the vote and has had a mostly successful term. This no doubt gives him an early edge, but he has failed to make good on some campaign promises, like building a convention center hotel in the downtown. Still, his competitors are mostly unknown politically, and Daniel Didio has yet to even surface to give Mid-Islanders an idea about what he stands for. All right, Scott Cunningham, thank you.